Howdy folks, my name is Roy Dugash. I'm a descendant of some of the first early Polish settlers who settled Bandera. I'm proud of Bandera. I'm proud that we're the cowboy capital of the world and I'm proud of where I'm from, Poland. Uh, my name is uh, Kim Schott and um, I've lived here in Bandera for just over 20 years now, but um, my mother was Margaret Mochigamba Gamble and uh, we were some of the first to immigrate to, to Texas from Poland um, with Father Leopold Mochigamba. Folks, it started way back in the 1800s when the Spaniards were the first ones here. They discovered this place, they got in here and they saw the Indians and they saw their jewelry. They uh, had the nice silver jewelry and they said, asked them where that came from. Well, that started the first thing of the mining here in the hill country. There are 90 something mines recorded from the south of, of Bandera on south that are recorded. That was the first thing and that was kind of like a little silver gold rush. And then there, a couple of settlers came in and they saw all of the, uh, the trees that we had here on the river there. And they started a, uh, a sawmill with the cypress trees. And so they, that's how my family came to come to Bandera. They got wind of the cypress mill when they landed in uh, Indianola and uh, decided that they would come up to Bandera and get them a job in the cypress mill. Well, they did. They came here, they worked in the cypress mill, they bought land. The cypress mill washed away in a flood, but they were still here. So they started their farming, ranching, and just made a living. They just made a living. And that's how they got started in Bandera back in the 1850s. The house that I live in is built in 1873. It still stands today, and I'm gonna pass that on to my nieces and nephews, and they're gonna continue the farm as I did it. So we'll keep the heritage alive in Bandera and keep moving on. Some of the families who did not stay in Panamaria Maria in the original settlement, a lot of them came to Bandera. Some others, like my family, went down south because they were farmers. They raised uh, cotton fields, and so the growing conditions in South Texas were much better than, of course, here where we're very drought prone. Uh, but my grandfather was one of the founders of McCook, um, and I think it's pretty much just the Catholic Church and a cemetery. Uh, I've heard a room a rumor, I'm not sure if it's true or not, that it was the only uh, church in the nation that had a liquor license. <laughs> so my name is uh, Harriet Stewart and uh, I live in Bandera, Texas. I came down to Bandera uh, one time actually in 2012 to just to visit and uh, that just blew my mind. I didn't think there was a place like this left. <laughs> so I, like a year later, about, I, uh, I decided to, to move down to Texas. You know, it's a small town. Like every small town, everybody knows everybody. But also here, there's, uh, there's a huge pride in a legacy. We definitely, we love to keep it old fashioned. We're helping each other. It's a very strong community. And then of course, it's the, the cowboy team. Everybody's very proud of the old cattle drives that went through here, the Polish heritage, and we're, we're, we're living it. <laughs> we're pretty much living it still today. Fifteen years ago, my sister and I always longed to find out where we came from, what country, what town, you know? What did our families look like? Are they still there? Do we have any kinfolk there? You know? And so we started a research, and my sister started the research, Eleanor Dugash Goodley, and she found in Chelsea Opolsky, in a little town outside there called Roshmir, is where the Dugashes came from. From there, they came, boarded the, the Venice, the Stennis, and sailed to Galveston from Galveston into Indianola, and then they made the walk from Indianola to the hill country, thus starting the Dugashes here in Bandera, Texas, the cowboy capital. I owe it to my sister. She was very diligent in doing this. She found out all that's history behind us. We actually found some living kinfolk that are still living in Poland and in the town of Roshmir. They still have a house and they still label it the Dugash house. 
Father Frank here in Bandera, one of his passions is keeping the Texas-Poland connection and so he's always taking groups over there or bringing groups from Poland here to sort of do a Texas tour and look at these Polish settlements around, around Texas. So yeah, my parents have traveled to Poland twice with him now. Well, and even when I moved here, I did not know that it was a Polish settlement, so it, that was interesting to me shortly after I moved here to realize that there was that connection, and then, uh, again, just putting it together, how, how people got here from Panna Maria, why they came here, and what they did as they helped establish the town, really. I feel like, in general, we're kind of proud of that ancestry that we have here, so I think we just sort of like to make it known. <laughs> to other people.